Hey you guys, I made all these Xtool S1 videos and I just realized I have never showed you how to engrave on a curved surface. Now, I was looking all through in here and I couldn't find anything really that was curved. So I took this piece of wood and just cut a curvature onto the bensa. I did not send it, so it's pretty rough, but we'll engrave something on this curved piece of wood so I can show you exactly how it works. And you know, when you get your machine, then you know exactly how to use it. Um, as a reminder, today is the last day of the early bird when you get the $500 off and beginning with tomorrow, if you use the code uh, into my description, then you can get a $200 off. But the better deal is if you get it by tomorrow because you'll get $500 instead of $200. Um, let's get right into it. All right, so I'll put my piece right here into the machine. I hope you can see it. And then onto the computer. I will go into, you see here where it says laser flat. This is under framing, by the way. Where it says laser flat, we are going to change it to curve process. And then under the curve process, you have this curve measure. So we click on that one. And now we have this dialog where we have to take two um, points. So it tells you where to start measuring the focus. So I'll start from the left top corner and click on mark on my computer right here. And it take a, takes a focus right there. Then I'll move my laser cross here, right here on the right bottom and click mark. Now I will close the lid. I hope you can still see it. And then say next. And now we have this, you can choose how many rows and columns to take the focus. I'll leave it to the, let me see if this works. We'll leave it to the default. And then I'll say start measuring. And now the laser will move and keeps poking it with that probe and takes measurements of the wood and all those points. And it will create like a depth map. So let's see. Great. And now on the screen, as you can see, we have this depth map. That's our material right there. And I will say done. And now this is our material right here, this bright rectangle. So I'm going to move my design and let's make it a lot smaller. Maybe make it taller. Oops. We'll just try something like this. We'll call that good. And then let's see, we will engrave it. I'm going to go to power of 50 and for the speed, I'll do 200. And let's proceed and say start. And then push the button on the front of the machine. All right, let's see. You see we got a lot of charring and definitely I went way, way, way too far with uh, the setting were too powerful. He actually went all the way through here. So he needed way less power, but let me just give it a quick send and see what it looks like. 
And after a quick sanding, this is what we got. Now, this part over here where it looks like I didn't sand well, it's because, remember I told you I just cut this on the bandsaw? Well, I didn't sand it before we engraved, so those are like the smoke deposits, the charring that is in those grooves, so I'll have to give it a lot of sanding to get rid of it. But anyway, I think the engraving ended up really, really good. I did, like I showed you, went through here, <laughs> and uh, my settings were way, way, way too powerful for this. But I just want to make this video to just quickly show you how to, you know, how to set up your machine so you can engrave on curved surfaces. So that's the way you do it. I hope this was helpful to you and you learned something new. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Skylar Ewing and I'll see you in my next video.